And all five fans, we are set to go once again. This bout is scheduled for three five-minute rounds in the middleweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. His background is in Muay Thai and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. At five feet, 11 inches tall, he weighed in officially 183 and one half pounds. Tonight, he makes his professional debut, fighting out of Morocco, here is Hicham Luxele! And his opponent tonight, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist standing six feet even. He weighed in 184 and one half pounds, and he too makes his professional debut tonight, fighting out of and representing Amman Jordan. Here is your son, Jordan. Referee in charge of the action, culinary expert, David Swan. Our resident chef, David Swan. Stoking so by his other profession ready. tonight as an MMA Fight. referee, and he gets this one underway. Hitchem so. Lagzali in the red and white shorts, Yazan Janeb in the red and black. And you can already see the tie boxing style from Lagzali and the wrestling from Yazan Janeb. Yeah, who scores an early What's takedown. Immediately changing What's level, progressing to side control. He'll be very content to have started off in this position so quickly. Good, dominant top control for him. We've seen Lagzali before, and his biggest weapons were those unorthodox flying knees, spinning back kicks, and, and low kicks. He's got to get, look to get his arms back inside. Both his elbows are outside of the sort of core of his body and isolated here. And really, I think we're seeing a little bit of perhaps immaturity from Lagzali on the ground. And Yassan Janet passes straight into mount. Went to the neon belly, slid straight over into the full mount. Yeah, let's see if he looks to use some elbows. It's the obviously his pro debut, the first time he's going to be able to harness that particular weapon. Does bring a whole new dynamic to the top game. But a long time for Yazan to work here. And the crowd going absolutely wild. Oh, Armbar coming. Oh, Lagazali's the armbar still there. Yazan Janeb's got the arm. He extends it. This could be over. I think he's going to really... Oh, he's just got to adjust, get that thumb facing up. Really drive his hips into it. Lagazali, how tough is he? But he switched, switched to the, the triangle. triangle jump. Oh, can he quite sink it, though? It looks as though it's a little loose. He doesn't have the ankle behind the knee, just the toes at this point. No, he's got the option of the arm there as well. Triangle arm bar oh, goes belly, belly down. down. This should be tight here. And how tough is Lagazali trying to just incredible his display way of out. guts here from Lagazali? And I think Jan Janeb cannot Wait, believe that Lagazali is not tapped to this. Unbelievable. Switching back to the triangle again. Lagazali just consents a brute force punch his way out of this one. Whoa! Oh. Huge oh. knee to the head there. <laughs> Illegal Take knee it. to the head of a downed opponent. Referee David Swan just delivering the instructions, but point not being taken. And immediately a big right hand coming down from Hitchin Lagzali. Surprised we didn't see a point deduction yeah, there, Josh. Very surprising from the ref. He, well, it'll be interesting to have a chat with him afterwards, see what his rationale was. But Yazan Janev really having to fight through this one. It looked as though it was going to be early doors. Janel had that triangle arm by locked in it, and he looked at the referee as if to say that the arm's gone. Yeah, sometimes it can, you know, you just get that little bit of wiggle room, and it's enough for your opponent to gut it out and fight his way free, and that's exactly what Hitcham Lagazali has done here. Standing to strike inside the guard, nice sweep now, armbar entry as well. Again, trying to lock out that arm, it's your son, Janel. Oh, and just... Oh, that was a lovely entry from Janev. The flower sweep was there if he had the chance as well. But coming up on top now. Looking to pass that guard. Take his man's back up against the cage here. Standing back control with single hook. Well, Lagazali opts to dump him on the ground, but it's not going to end him in that favourable position if Janev can free his head here. Lagazali trying to isolate an arm. Uh, well... The Moroccan has got to be very careful. If that head pops out, immediately Janeb is going to be latched onto the back.
Vichem Lagazali. Lagazali seemingly content to just pin his man at the moment. Yusan Janeb trying to get onto his knees and get some leverage to pull that head out. I mean, it, you know, this is one of those positions that isn't technically correct. It's a judo kezukitami, and, you know, it, it's useful for holding people in place for short periods of time. But we can see if the guy's got a really good solid squeeze, it can be very effective here. But I think Janeb is just about going to create the leverage to pop his head out. And there he is. And now Lagzali is in a bad spot once again. Trying to buck, but a very solid base from Yusan Janeb. Oh, and Lagazali's given his back now. Janeb's going to be looking to sink his hooks in. He needs to get those underhook controls with his arm, though. That's, otherwise, he's going to fall off the top here. Perhaps he, he's arm grabbing the, the way arm. down. Yeah. Perhaps going to look to switch for that armbar again. We've already seen some nice transitional awareness from Yazan Janeb. Let's see if the Jordanian can pull something off here as time ticks away for him in the first round. Final 30 seconds. It makes you wonder, Josh, if he couldn't tap him out with that armbar earlier on, what does he have to do to make this man submit? Well, maybe it's it's the positional grappling into the striking and ground and pound game, as we're seeing now. He's going to do the damage for him. Rain down from Yuzan Janeb there. He goes back to looking for the choke. And a real gutsy performance here from Hicham Lagzali. Yeah, how the first round ends. There were moments in that first round where I honestly would not have thought He'd be able to escape. Yazan Janeb's got to be wondering what he needs to do, but an excellent first round for the Jordanian nonetheless. You've got to wonder what kind of damage has been done to that arm as we take a look at some of the action from that first round. Immediately, Janeb in on the takedown, started off with the side control he would have so preciously wanted. A couple of big shots landed here. For the Jordanian, and, and here's that armbar. You can see he just didn't quite get the calf across the back of the neck. He's just down on his ankle. He's probably going to leave a little bit of space. This belly down armbar was where we really thought Lagzali's arm was going to go. There was actually two kicks to the head of the down the yeah, there. Yeah, I've got to be honest, I did not see those. And the knee. I mean, the knee to the chest there or the collarbone would have been fine, but slightly misplaced. There was also two kicks at almost impossible angle for us to see and indeed for our referee to see. These things do happen Let's in mixed go, martial arts. And we can only hope it doesn't Come have on. any effect on the outcome of the bout. Stand up. Stand up. Well, the referee go, having some now. trouble getting the corner man out of the cage here. Hey, let's go. Always fun with the language barrier here in Jordan. Just going to be wiping off some excess water here. Referee David Swan okay, about to get the ready. second round underway. Hitchim Lagzali versus Yazan Janeb. Cage Warriors, ready. Fight Night 10. Ready. Touch of the gloves to start the round. Well, got a wonder. This guy is looking very tired after that first round. Oh, and a good head kick early from Hitchim Lagzali. It didn't seem to really rock Yazan Janeb, but he, he kind of stumbled down from it. Yeah, good work from Janeb to immediately follow him back up. He has a reach and really surge forward for the takedown but see how he cut the angle so nicely once he got hold of his man and i think he'll use this just to slow the pace down grind on him and just really try and get some energy back well that's where yazan janeb's done his best work in the past josh when he's been able to take his man to the mat grind him out really wear them out with that suffocating grappling style that he has that looks like exactly what he's trying to do here for Hitchin Lagzali. Nice pass from Janeb moving to side control. Now again, we can see perhaps some of the inexperience of Hitchin Lagzali. He's holding on to the head with that left headlock grip. Not going to be able to really do much. It's going to be more of a nuisance for Janeb at this point. Referee David Swan calling for action there. Jordanian looking to switch his hips and step around. Very nice indeed. Looking to go in the on belly, did that in the first round, went to the on belly and immediately slid into full mount. Zanjanev frees his head, still caught in that side control position though. And again we can see the Moroccan is reaching around Janeb, he's isolated both his own elbows by trying to maintain this position. janeb has got to be thinking just a nice slow methodical progression of the position here is going to be the way to go. There we go, looking to mount, nice. Jordan, a very educated crowd showing their appreciation of the grappling.
Probably from his aunt Janeb. See if he looks for just ground and pound here rather than give away the position with the submission attempts. I'm sure the jiu-jitsu player in him will want that submission, but sometimes you've got to get the job done with your fists. It's from Lux Ali just holding his man in close, preventing his aunt Janeb from getting any leverage. Oh, let's see if he looks for the arm, but good job to stay on the back there. Well, as goes to the rear naked choke. Yeah, looking to immediately get under the throat. Laxali's got to be fighting that two on one. Got to, got to look to control the rest. No hooks in now from Yazanjanev. They both go back in though. <laughs> Asserts his position, looks to get that hand under the throat. It is a long time for the Jordanian to work in this position. Strikes to soften him up. Yazanjanev looking to secure the rear naked choke here. Again, though, here we're seeing some very nice technical defence. Looking to switch to the head and arm, though. Lovely work. The Moroccan's got to look to really bump and get that right elbow high. Try and... He's on to have his hands. Cinching this up. Needs to step over to side control, but he's lost the choke in doing so. Nice explosion at the right time from Lagzali. Watch your fingers. Like only being warned for putting his fingers in the mouth of Yusanjanev. Gentlemen, you've got to start doing this, I'm going to stand you up. Yusanjanev postures up. Janev with the full mount still. Needs Big right top. hand from Yusanjanev there. Looking again to switch yeah, S, to the armbar. S mount here, let's see if he takes the arm. Oh, and that is definitely tight this time. He's using the hips as a fulcrum, leaning back and cranking that arm. Oh, and the arm has got to have gone here. That elbow looks to be dislocated. <laughs> There's no submission coming, though. How tough is Lagzali? Pops his head out. Unbelievable. He's actually to go back to mount. He's actually straight back into a mount. I mean, I've got to say, I thought the arm was gone. What I really liked that time was Janev didn't just fall back. He switched to the S mount, tucked that far side leg underneath the armpit, allowed him to really cinch that up tight before he fell back. Really nice jiu-jitsu, but we see heavy breaths now. Big elbow from his hand, Janet. You talked about that earlier, Josh. The first fight where he's been able to use elbows. He landed one there. But if you're your San Janet right now, you've got to be wondering how you can put this guy away. I don't know what hitch of Lexali's limbs are made of or, or what he's eating for dinner, but I want some of it. I mean, some guys are just, you know, they're a bit more double jointed, they have a bit more flexibility. The arm's still going to break at a certain point, it just requires you to really cinch it up tight. And I've got to start say, I feel a bit for Yazan Janev. I really thought he had that submission there. Mentally, it's going to take a toll coming that close to finishing a fight. Keep moving, guys. Keep moving. Not Keep being moving, able to get the trap. Keep moving. Referee David Swan now warning the fighters again for inactivity. He will stand this up. And he does. And the round ends anyway. Action packed second round there. Josh, between Hicham Lagzali and Yazan Janab. It really was. Again, it's got to be another round where Yazan Janab controlled the whole round, had some fantastic submission attempts, but it was really just brute tenacity and we're going to see from the Moroccan. Now. High head kick. As he took it on the arm, it just kind of knocked Yazan Janab over a little bit. Yeah, nice scrambly takedown here from Janab, though, to earn this position. On top, moving again to the mount, just very succinctly sliding the knee over, very tight transition there. This is the arm triangle choke attempt. You yeah. see Yazan Janev now just pass that leg over into side control. And it was a perfectly timed bridge from Lagzali to escape that one. The S mount here. The arm. Both these men showing a little battle fatigue as we head into this third round. Referee David Swan about to get proceedings underway. Hitchim Lagzali in the red and white shorts. Yazan Janeb in the black and red. Well, I've got to say, Hitchim Lagzali is known as a striker, but really, what's he going to have left in his arms at this point? A nice takedown from Janeb in on the hips, changing the angle. Immediately to top position. Up into side control for the Jordanian. I think we're going to see the same progression we've seen twice before now. Move to mount. 
See how, he's, see how high his chest is, though. There's not really much pressure on Lagzali, and I think Geneb is starting to realize we're not going to see too much explosion from Lagzali, except in the dying moments when it's Go, absolutely working, ne a necessity working. for him. Well, Hicham Lagzali never went to a decision in his amateur career. Yuzan Geneb did on a number of occasions, but only three minute rounds, so this is the first time either man has fought longer than 10 minutes, Josh. Again, full mount for the Jordanian. Chest nice and low. Be interesting to see if Yuzan Geneb looks for the armbar again or whether he's content to just duke it out here in top position, looking absolutely exhausted as the Jordanian drops the left hand. Just like to see some good, solid, methodical, well-placed elbows from Geneb here. There's, there's a good shot. Again, palm, push-off elbows. Just a nice pace like this is... I think he can maintain this position indefinitely as long as he chooses to. Hicham Lagzali looking like he doesn't really have a whole lot left to give from this position. Is Anjanev taking his mouthpiece out there for a breather? Is Anjanev pins one arm. Looking for the salivary position here, Josh. Yeah, crucifix now for Geneb. A lot of time to work as well. Nice elbow strike there from the crucifix position for Yuzan Geneb. Well, Lagzali's not going to give up easy. We've seen that already. Well, he's trying to strike with limited knees from the bottom. Just chipping away here is Yuzan Geneb. Hicham Lagzali. Struggling to get out of this position. He's on lockdown at the moment. Geneve looking to create a bit of space to drop another one of those elbows in. It's under two and a half minutes to go in our final round. Very nice grip with the feet from Yazan Geneve to isolate that arm. It's a little more secure than the standard crucifix you sometimes see. Couple of punches now from Yazan Geneve. I think he's found a bit more of a face. Legendary ever made by featuring George St. Pierre and Matt Hughes. Excuse me, BJ Penn and Matt Hughes. <laughs> That's exactly how that fight finished. I mean, it, both arms pinned down, you can't intelligently defend yourself. Yazan Geneb turned up the tempo and got the TKO stoppage. It wasn't for lack of trying, though. I mean, how many times did Yazan Geneb see like he was going to get the submission or we'll get the TKO? And finally, in the third round, he managed to turn it up. Let's have a look at some of the replays here. In that side of very position, drops the elbow. And here are the fight ending shots. A series of unanswered punches, not knockout blows, but completely answered. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes officially. Two minutes, 57 seconds, round number three. Referee David Swan puts a halt to the battle.